Hello, I'm Delusion Dispeller. I'm going to finish up our video on why the love dare principles will not work with a malignant narcissist. So the next thing, day 31, is confess any desire to leave your spouse. All right, we're dealing with a narcissist here, a malignant one at that. If you tell a narcissist that you're planning on leaving them or you're thinking of leaving them or you have a plan to leave, um, that's going to backfire in your face. The best thing to do if you're going to leave a narcissist is figure out a plan to do it as quietly as possible. Because as soon as they sense that they're losing their narcissistic supply source, they will freak out, especially if they don't have another one on the side. And maybe even if they do, because they like to keep you around and kind of hover for a, a while. Um, so yeah, confessing a desire, oh honey, I need to talk to you. Um, things just aren't working out with us. Well, yeah, that's because you're, you got all these issues. You told you you're crazy. You need to see a psychotherapist or one of them shrink people. That's what you'll get for that. And, well, I just think it would be better if we spent some time alone to think about this. Pfft, spend all the time you want. I got a hot date on Saturday night, and she's way better than you will ever be. I told you about her. You know that girl, Brenda? Well, yeah, she's waiting for me because I knew you'd pull this. I knew you'd abandon me. I knew you really weren't in it to win it. You weren't in this thing for real with your heart from the get-go. You just proved my point. It won't work. Don't try to confess your desire to leave a narcissist to the narcissist. Not a good plan. Day 32. Initiate sex that pleases the spouse. Okay, we already talked about sex a little bit about regarding narcissists and how they view that. Um, they'll let you initiate sex that pleases them because it's always about what pleases them. They'll be like, fine, you want to do that? Go for it, lady. You know, do it twice on Sunday, too. I don't care. <laughs> you know, it's not going to repair your marriage to give them what they want all the time. And to basically put your own needs is not necessary or not um, needing to be met. So that's not going to work. Day 33, ask about, ask for future input, or no, ask for input about the future from the spouse. Honey, how do you think things will be in about five to ten years? Where do you think we will be? Um, seriously? I think you're going to be out on the street because I'm going to get sick of your BS and I'm going to put you there and you're not going to have anybody because nobody's going to put up with you the way I have and nobody wants to deal with your garbage. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Where will I be? Well, I'll be the head of that company I told you about because I'm already on my way. In fact, I've already got the credentials way over Bob Brown or whatever the heck his name is. And all those people over there, you know, they just don't know what they're missing yet. But I'll be there. I'll be at the top of that company. You mark my words. And you'll be on the street because you're not going to find anybody that wants you and about five other kids. Who's going to take anybody in like you anyway? I've put up with more than my share of garbage from you since I've been married to you. So that's where I think we're going to be. You're going to be out, and I'm going to be on top. So there you go. That's the answer to that one. Um, day 34. Uh, comment on their Christian character that you see in them. All right. I, I don't think I really need to elaborate on this. Narcissists true narcissists, malignant ones, are not Christians. They are not godly people. They are not spiritual people. They are not um, people that you really want to cozy up to or trust with anything important to you, especially your own life. So, yeah, I wouldn't suggest you say, oh, wow, you're just like the most Christ-like man I've ever met. You are the most spiritually developed um, specimen on the planet. They'll be like, yeah, I know, I know. Everybody should be as spiritual as I am and as holy as I am. It's just, I just feel bad for the other guys. You know, all those underlings over there. Yeah, they, they don't hold the candle to me. I could probably teach and run rings around anybody in any Bible study in any church. In fact, that pastor we saw last week, yeah, he was a joke. He doesn't even compare to me. I, I got the market cornered on the scriptures. I know everything about the Bible that there is to know. And ain't nobody taught me either. I taught myself. There you go. <laughs> That's what you get when you tell them what a good, godly person they are. A narcissist, malignant narcissist. Day 35, find a marriage mentor. Oh, yeah. Great, great idea. Involve a third party that he can rally to gang up on you. 
um, especially a counselor who's, if they're not trained in dealing with malignant narcissists, they're going to buy everything hook, line, and sinker and think you are the problem. So yeah, I don't suggest you find a marriage mentor to try to save your marriage unless you really want to have a bunch of garbage heaped on you in a counseling meeting because that is pretty much what they do. They will just turn all the tables on you. Well, if that woman would just listen to me, if she'd just do what I said, we wouldn't have these problems. I told her she was crazy. I told her to see it shrink. I'm just glad she's finally here to deal with her issues. And the counselor might say, well, don't you have any part in this? Psh, of course I do, but if she would listen to me, I wouldn't have any issues to deal with. All of my issues are based on what she's done. I mean, look at the record. I went and did this for her. What did she do? She didn't respond with love and kindness and goodness like she claims she stands for. She just heaped all this issues on me and heaped all this blame on me. It's not mine to take. So see what I deal with. This is what I deal with. And this is why I'm in counseling because I know you can probably help fix her. And then we'll be so much happier. And, you know, that's what it boils down to. So there you go. There's your marriage mentoring idea. Day 36, read the Bible together. We don't have to go on to that, do we? The narcissist already knows everything there is to know about the Bible. In fact, a narcissist in my past um, had told me, don't quote scriptures at me. You don't think I know what the scriptures say? My dad's a pastor. How dare you tell me what the Bible says? I don't even want to hear the Bible. So-called Christian. Yeah, okay. So reading the Bible together, not happening with the malignant narcissist. Day 37, ask your spouse if you can pray one time together each day. Yeah, I can hear the prayer of the narcissist now. Lord, please help this woman that I have to put up with every day. Help her to see how wrong she really is and everything she thinks about me. Help her to realize what a gift I am and how much you really blessed her to have me in her life as her husband. Help her to be the subservient and submissive wife you called her to be. In your mighty name, amen. There you go. There's a prayer from the narcissist. All focused on you're the one to blame, you're the one at fault, and God help her learn how wonderful I am and to kowtow to me. In fact, uh, my ex-husband told me the only knee my or the only one my knee should ever bow to, the only Lord my knee should ever bow to, is him, <laughs> not God, him, the narcissist. All right, pray for the spouse's desires to come to pass. Day thirty-eight. He already took care of that in the prayer the day before. <laughs> His desires to come to pass. So we won't get into that one. Day thirty-nine. Write a letter of commitment to your spouse. Sure, commit yourself to the narcissistic spouse. While you're at it, commit yourself to the loony bin, because that is where you probably will end up after your marriage to one. Day 40, renew your vows. Please don't. Please, um, if you want to celebrate something, celebrate leaving the narcissist. Celebrate a divorce from the narcissist. Celebrate coming to your senses, if you can, and getting out safely. Do not renew your marriage vows with somebody that abuses you. No sense in that. Totally wrong. Anyway, those are the 40 um, love dare principles each day for 40 days that I went into as much as I could, as much as could apply. The thing to remember when dealing with a malignant narcissist is that they are not normal. They're not a normal marriage partner. They don't have empathy, so they don't care what you think, and they don't care how you feel. They don't care how their actions affect you. They project, which means any issues they have, they're going to say you have the issues. They double bind. They tell you to do stuff, and then they make it impossible for you to do it. Um, trying to think of all the things they do. They'll pin your friends against you. Um, they'll isolate you. They will badmouth people that you care about. They do all kinds of shady, nasty stuff. They say tactless things. Like if you accidentally interrupt a narcissist while they're reading the paper. Oh, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I was wondering if you were ready to eat dinner. They'll look at you and say, well, you already interrupted me. So, you know, it's a little too late to say you didn't mean to. So, you know, just tactless, rude comments and callous comments. Anyway, so that's the 40 days of the love dare and why it will not work with a narcissist. Of course, it's my opinion. Disclaimer here. This is from my heart to yours. This is just the way I view the narcissists I have been in contact with and what I know about malignant narcissism. 
you can feel free to disagree with me. I definitely want your comments, your opinions, your corrections, whatever you want to throw out there for me. Um, I'm open to it. Just be kind, be nice. Don't, you know, don't be mean. Because uh, then that makes me wonder if maybe you have a few issues you need to deal with. But we're all here together going through stuff dealing with things and we're here for each other right so write me if you need me delusion to speller gmail.com i'm happy to help in whatever way i can i hope you enjoyed this little kind of a witty type of surmise of the 40 days of the love dare concerning a narcissist and why i really don't think it would work and wouldn't be worth your time so anyway have a wonderful day hope to hear from you soon welcome to all newcomers god bless you subscribe if you liked the channel and like it if you like the channel um and you like the videos give me some other ideas of things you'd like to see and god be with you have a great day bye